welcome back welcome back um it's wednesday so you'll be watching this tutorial i've had a few days to myself um i won't say that they've been relaxing because i've been running around doing all sorts of things that i needed to catch up on and it's really late here you can see i've got my light on and i'm trying to catch up and make sure that i have a tutorial for you to watch tomorrow so um because it's tuesday today right so i have and it's going to be a surprise but it is worth, uh, it is using an envelope um, and it's a big envelope today so we're going to be using one of these really big ones um, and this is what we call here an A4 size envelope and if I give you some measurements for it it's 9 inches or 23 centimeters by 30, 31 centimeters and and that would be probably 12 and a half inches so it's quite a big envelope one of my subscribers did ask me to um, suggest something else to do with these other than covers so I'm going to show you and you'll have to wait till the end to see what it is all right all that, that I'm going to say is this would be a great idea to make for gifts all right so if you're working towards Christmas or birthdays or something like that this would be a great idea for a gift all right so that's what we're going to use you need one of these um, and the paper that I'm going to use today um, I've gone back to use some of this paper from my porch prints which is so pretty and it's called among the wildflowers so this is going to be the one um, page I'm going to use I'm going to use two of these but really pretty and I do love this um, then we're also going to use some watercolor uh, wildflower pages that have come out and um, that are more muted so we're going to use those as well um, so those are the the sort of pages we're going to be using today lots of bits and bobs I'm going to show you one or two things um, but we're going to get straight to it all right, so the first thing that I want to do is I want to divide up my envelope. So if you have a look at your envelope, I want to make sure it's in frame here. It is. Um, if you go from the left hand side, look at my finger. I'm full of uh, distressing. Um, I have drawn a line here at three and three quarters from the left hand side. That in centimeters is nine and a half centimeters. And then the middle part here is 11 centimeters or just short of four and a half inches. So that's that. And then this side at the very end here, uh, if I take it from the edge, we're also looking at 11 centimeters or just short of four and a quarter. So that's the three sections I've divided and you can see I've drawn lines in there and what I would suggest is is that you take some kind of a scoring tool or knife or something and just run that over those two lines that you've drawn in with a pencil. Okay, so just like that. That's the first thing you need to do. Then the other thing that we need to do is is just chop off a little bit off the end here so where's my knife I just want to um, take a very small amount a sliver again and just take that off the end of the envelope the end without the flap that is all right so that's going to open that up there like that now and then the other thing I want to do is, you can either use your glue. Um, I have divided this part in half. So I think it is 11 and a half centimeters or four and a half inches. Um, I've drawn a line there. And what I'm gonna do straight away is I'm gonna sew. So you can either use your glue 
and run that on the inside. Make sure you draw a line on the inside um, to give you a better guidance. Um, and then run your glue along there just to seal that off so you've got two separate compartments. Or what I'm going to do quickly is I'm just going to stitch um, along there and these two lines over here quickly. That's just, um, well, I really only need to do it on the one line. So this line here and there. Okay, that just prevents your card from going further down when you put it in. So you can, um, as I say, glue it. And if you struggle with that, open up a side here and then stick it down when you're finished. So you could do that as well. All right, so I'm going to do that ever so quickly and I'll see you back here in a sec. Okay, so we are back. And as you can see, I've just sewn down that length there and across there like that. So now if I put my fingers in there, we have a little... Uh, pocket there and a little pocket there all right so this is going to be the inside um, with a flat folding that way that'll be the inside and then what I want to do is I want to turn this around so that we can get to the outside so there won't be any other sewing on at this point so what I'm going to do now is um, I want to cover this over and what I have done is I've already cut out the various pieces um, using this paper from my porch prints over here, which is from Among the Wildflowers. So I love this page. So I have just cut out and inked the piece that's going to go over there. And I haven't done it as one whole section. Number one, the paper's too wide. And number two, I, I don't want to struggle on the fold. So... I've cut out each segment accordingly and I hopefully I have them in the correct order here. So I'm going to stick all of those down. I think this one goes here like that. Yep. And then this one is going to go at the end like that. Okay, so I'm going to start sticking all of that down. Now, um... If you're going to sew around the edge, which I probably will do, um, you want to, um, you don't need to be so worried about taking the glue right up to the edge. But if you are not going to sew, then please make sure you use something better than a glue stick, some good glue that's going to hold down this um, paper onto the envelope and make sure you go right to the edge as well. So that's the first thing. I am going to use my glue stick because I am going to stitch this, so that's all right. So I'm going to just make sure that I get this all in place. It's much quicker than using your now. Um, with this one, make sure you get this edge here as close to this edge here as you can. Buff it right up to the edge. Um, just to give that edge strength that's why i always say that oh and before i stick this down i've just realized i won't be sewing across the pockets so do take a good glue and make sure that you do just go across the edge that's if the glue can work just on that one edge there suddenly had an epiphany right so yeah, now it's working. All right, so you want to take it right to the edge there um, for that section. Okay, and the rest of it, it doesn't really matter because we've got glue stick. Well, now that I've probably dried it, I'm just going to... Okay, so do that just for the edge there. The rest we can sew around. Um, okay, so I'm getting that right up to the edge like that. And I'm happy with that. Okay, so we've got our first panel down. And that's such pretty paper. It looks like a, a nice tapestry fabric or some nice carpetbagger embroidered fabric. Just imagine that. Right, so now we want to put on the second one. I think I'm just going to stick with this glue because these two panels here I won't be sewing on. You could obviously stitch around everything. Um, beforehand but I know that I will probably stitch um, after I've stuck down these panels so you can't go wrong with the art glitter glue to really 
so reliable. Right, so we've got the second plant panel going on just about. Now just be mindful of your fold lines here that we have made. So you've got the, um, what is it called now? <laughs> Can't think, scoring, the scoring lines there to guide you. So there we've got two on so far. Now we're going to do this third one. Now I haven't even tried what I'm doing, so let's. I'm just hoping that I'm winging it here today. <laughs> That's what happens when you you don't have too much time. And the thought is looking good in my head, so let's just hope it's going to all work out. I just had so many things to do and just things weren't going my way today. Uh, it's bin day for me, uh, my usual daily refuse bin. And I was so busy filling out forms and doing something for my daughter that I didn't um, remember to put the bin out. And when I heard the bin man outside, I was still in my PJs because this was like 11 o'clock. And I decided I'm going to make a go for it. So I ran upstairs to go and pull on, pull on something that would look a bit decent at least. And as I ran up the stairs, I um, tripped, fell up the stairs and took two inch square of skin off my knee. And I'll tell you, it's been burning all day. That being said, I never got to take the bin out and now I'm stuck with that black bin totally full for another two weeks i'm not too happy i've never missed the bin man before but today was the day so i don't know what i'm going to do i think i'm going to have to enjoy a visit to the um the tip so get rid of my household refuse or something <laughs> i don't know what or put it in in the separate bags in my um garage oh that's going to be terrible i think i'll put it in the shed i'm not so cross with myself or not you know most often i do it in the evening so i don't know if any of you have done any of that before miss the bin and we're on a two-week cycle and every other week they do the recycling um so next week's recycling week and i've got two two green bins which i don't know why i've got two but my son did flatten a whole pile of cardboard for me, so they fill this week. So I made to make sure I'll get those out. Right. So there we go. We've got that all down, and I'm pretty happy with that. Let's now just fold along these score lines. So let's just uh, make sure that we've got that all folding really nicely there. And then this one. Again really nicely there and then this one as well so there we go so we've got our pockets over there okay isn't that so pretty i just love that i really love it okay so we've got that in place what we want to do now is because this will be folding up as you've gathered because we've made score lines that will be folding up i'm going to put on my um, attachment quickly so that when i put on my inside you're not going to see any of that so what i'm going to do is i am going to put on buttons um and they're really pretty i don't know where i got them i've just found two that matched and i thought they went all right with this so there we have it so what I want to do, we'll start with the top and I just want to find the middle point here. So let's find a, a pencil. Here's one. Right, so let's just see if I go from, it's easier for me to work in a smaller dimension. So So what we're going to do is I'm just taking um, my little needle here. I do have a pokey tool. So I've got a little pokey tool. I'm going to open that up um, because this will need to go straight through. So let's just get one of these little goodies. So we're going to go 
there and by doing this it's just going to make my life easier and then the same with this bit which is on here I'm going to just do the same there okay so there we go so I hope you guys are all doing well um, I, as I said, I've been doing all sorts and had all sorts of help from my son this week. Um, clearing the garden, trimming, pruning trees. I had to, uh, he cleaned the gutters out for me, which hadn't been done since we've moved here. So, I, which is not forever, it's two years. <laughs> so, um, I just can't climb on such a high ladder. I've got a a fear of that so he was very kind to help me with that and of course it is a double story house so very high up I didn't leave the ladder once I was terrified I was gonna have to spend uh, the a in, uh, the, the day in a and &E. so and I just didn't want him to be hitting the the pavers so thank heavens all was well and it worked out and I have a beautifully clean fascias and gutters so I'm very thrilled about that as you get thrilled about things like that you know <laughs> probably not but I was right so we've got that done one done oh and had to visit the post office as well and it was so busy queued outside because obviously with social distancing and everything I thought it was just never going to get done it was terrible and of course I'm thinking the whole time well I've got uh, my uh, tutorial to do you know and these ladies aren't going to be happy if I <laughs> haven't done that so yeah it was one of those days oh it was just one of those days Right, I'm holding on to one side of the thread and trying to find the other. There we go. I do like this colour. And I know it's not pastel, but it's, it's like raspberry, isn't it? It's just like raspberry. Very pretty. What am I doing? Right, to pull that bit straight. We'll just go through once more and then we can be done with that. Right, so anything that you would want to do in any project, um, it's always best to try and do this uh, before you put on your inner layer because then it's all covered. So that's for anybody who's new to this kind of thing. You want to try and hide um the workings you know well i do so there it is it's done now and just to keep that in place i'm going to use my old favorite so masking tape just going to cut a piece of that oops off there just to reinforce that and just make it flat as well and again up at that end as well now um if you're wanting to you can run um masking tape on here and perhaps we should do that because um it's going to just help reinforce the paper and you know we don't want it to wear out and break especially when you're making something um, that you want to last you know whether you're gifting it or not you you still want it to last so i love my masking tape i'm just going to put it on these two hinge or not hinges but jaw, uh, folds and then um, we don't have to worry about that and you could use fabric if you want, you can use masking tape, washi tape, whatever you have. 
All right, so we've got that on. That's done. That's just going to give us a little bit of strength. Um, and remember I said to you, you can use sports tape. Sports tape is more fluffy. Um, and you can discolor sports tape as well. All right, so there we go. We've got that in place. We've got our two buttons on over there and over there. And we'll get to the rest later. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch around the edge, just the border, the edge here. Obviously not this bit. So I'll start there and go around there. And I'll see you back here in a minute. All right, everybody, welcome back. Um, as you can see, I have just stitched around here and then just around the perimeter. I think it just finishes it off. All right, so we, we're pretty much done with all of that. So now we want to get our in into the inside. Now, what I've done is I've used some watercolors. Now, it's uh, these papers are called watercolor wildflowers. They're beautiful muted tones. I thought it would be perfect to use on the inside. I don't want everything to be shouting out. So what I've done is, I just want to make sure that's all in. I have cut out a piece that's going to fit in over here. And well, I think I'm going to have to just take a slither off there because I've stitched around there. So let's just do that quickly. So we want to just take off. See, this is what happens when you haven't um, made one and learned from your mistakes. So sorry about that. Right, so easily sorted. So this is going to slide in here. And we're going to stick that down in here. So I'm just going to, just trying to line it up properly before I, Go and stick it down so it's just like that and that side like that now it does stick up because you got the button underneath there but that looks pretty good so what i'm going to do is i'm going to brave it and i'm going to put the glue on <laughs> so we'll do that and again you're not going to stitch this now so just make sure that you do go straight to the edges um, and be quick because this art glitter glue, it, it sticks fast and you don't have much time to uh, line things up. So that's why I did a little test run first. Okay, so when I get this in here now, I'm going to have to be quite quick. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to just sort out the top first. That's it. And then I can push down the rest. So you know, if you if you're not so sure about doing this quickly and you're worried about not being quick enough, then I would go with the fabric tack or the three in one. You've got a few seconds longer with that, so that's more forgiving. Right, so we've got that down. How pretty does that look? Right, so this piece is gonna go here, but I want to do something to it before I stick it down. Um, so we will have that one pretty high over there. Um, but what I've done is I have um, printed on some vellum. Um, also with one of the wildflower um, designs. And I've just cut a strip of it. You can see it better when it's lying on there. Um, and what I'm going to do is I want to just stick this down. So I didn't want to, you know, get rid of the beautiful colors that we've got from this i mean i just love that just gorgeous can you imagine tags with that as a base um and i want to just go and stick that and stitch that on there like that uh just on those three sides so i can use that to tuck some goodies in so what i'm going to do first of all is just put a very very thin bead of glue there i'm going to just dot it along the bottom in here and then I'm gonna just get that in place like that and move it down because the buttons so I'll 
just smooth that down like that and now um, if you want give that a little stitch it's just going to keep it in place but if you've used a strong glue then you're going to be fine with that all right so you can see all i've done is just stitched along there like that and that blends in perfectly and you've still got these beautiful colors and now all i want to do is stick that down so we can do that all right so i've still got lots of things i want to be doing this summer um so i'm not sure how many of you are going away or you know i know locally a lot of people are having local holidays in the camper vans as i said before um so i don't know how many people are really going away this summer i'm not but for me just being at home and not having to go to my day job is enough for me <laughs> honestly um i do like to go away but i don't foresee that happening um this year at least okay so let's just move that up like that oops okay so that's all looking fabulous just use my band folder here okay i think that's all nice and stuck down so we've got a lovely little pocket over here we've got um a little tuck spot in there now we're going to come and do the middle section so what i've got here is a different one of the pages this is more um pinkish that's more mauveish as you have a look um, and that does go down over here and i will stick that down in a minute but before i do that what i've decided i'm going to put on this section is a belly band so i've taken one of the pages from the original um, botanical wildflowers and I have just taken one of the pieces, um, this beautiful um, lilac flowers, and I'm going. I've stuck it onto a piece of cardstock and stitched around that. So I thought that went really well. Um, it would be a focal point here, really. So I'm going to um, stick this down, and I think I'm going to use double-sided tape with this. Um, and that's what I'm going to do there. So I'm going to just grab my double sided tape. And I've got one that's about a half inch. And I'm going to just stick it um, at the top here. All right. You could just use your glue. You could stitch this to the actual page if you wanted to. Um, I'm going to put two rows of this. No, I think one row is enough. It's, it's wide enough. So I'm going to just do that there and there. Like that. Sometimes uh, double sided tape is lovely to use. You know, it's easy. Okay, so we've got that in place there. Um, and I wasn't sure if I was going to stitch it or not, but I'm not going to stitch it. Uh, and then I'm going to first stick this down and then um, we'll be able to stick this down. I just got a thread there. Right, so let's do this quickly first. <laughs> it's amazing when I'm, I'm doing the actual project and everything's prepared. How fast it does go for me, actually, if I think that I've taken most of the day to get all these bits together, cut them out, decide what I want to do, um, ink them, sew them, uh, print everything, you know, it does take a long time. And then when I actually do the project, it seems so fast. <laughs> Probably just as well, because you'd all be bored out of your minds. Right. And let's just move that up a bit. I'm just lining this all up nicely. All right, so that looks about right. I've got the button underneath there, so I think it'll be easier if we just did this and smooth it over so we get it sticking down nicely. Just like that. All right, so there we go. And now this is the right way up because there's the 
says nettle leaved bellflower there we go that's what it is so we want to take off our um, double-sided tape and we're going to position that on there like that oops um, and then over here as well so we've got those right so before I put that down let's just check all the angles so I think that's about where I want it I think <laughs> okay so we've got that there we've got that there all right so that's great that's in position I'm happy with that now normally I'd be putting lots of little embellishments all over the place um, I don't want to do too much of that because I want it to be quite flat but what I am going to do is I'm just going to take a little piece of this maybe I don't know yet we're going to see um, we could put something like that somewhere although I'm not sure that that I'm happy with that really no I'm going to leave it okay so that's all looking great now we're going to come over and deal with this piece over here now what i've got here is made my life a bit complicated i've got this beautiful watercolor one look at that look at that little bit of peach coming through there i just love that this paper is just stunning right so how do i want it and as far as sides go i think I think what I need to do is just to, I'm going to put it that way I think but I uh, I can always trim this off once I've stuck it down but let's just make sure that I don't want it to exceed so I think I'm going to take off a little bit um, now off the top here so I'm going to just take a little bit off here I don't want it to fit into the fold so that's what I'm going to do there so sorry about that I think that's going to be a better fit it is right don't want things fitting into the fold and then that just makes folding it a bit prohibitive and we don't want that okay so we've got that sorted um now as I said I'm going to have that like that and I'm not going to stick it down right yet because I've got some things to show you first. Now, what I've done here is I have made two little envelopes. This is from the old um, wildflower um, kit, the botanical, the original one. And I've printed two of these pages to a sheet. And then what I did was, I to get this size, um, I used my little template my envelope template so this is my I call it my envelope three um, it's like a mini CD size all right so if you're wanting to know what size this is I'll try and give you the it is eight and three quarter centimeters or three and a half inches by three and a half all right so that's approximately the size that it folds to so if you've got this you can just grab envelope three and um, what I did was I just lay it over there like that and I cut it out like that so that's what I did and then when you fold it you will get this so that's what I've done there see um, now um, those go in first don't worry about the white you're not going to see that with what I'm going to do um, I'm going to tuck one um, once I've put it together on that side and then I've done another little one with a different page and I'm going to stick it on that side. Now what I like these is when you put them together and glue them as you can see I've done with this one you've got some writing space because of the way the page is set up so um, they have the writing section so you're folding that over like that. So I thought that that was really handy on both of them. Look, they're different, but they are set up like that. So that's a suggestion of what you can do. Now, I quickly want to just um, glue this down. So I'm just gluing the flaps quickly. 
not the main flap at the top, just the side flaps. So you want to just do that, line it up. Okay, so we've got that all in place. Just wipe that off, I don't want that there. Right, so I'm happy with that. Isn't that so pretty? So we're going to um, stick this flap under there and stick that one under there. We'll position them properly in a minute um, before we actually stick this down. Now I'll tell you why I say position it properly in a minute because I've made some little goodies to go in there and I want to just show you before um, I show you. Now this is what I've done. You can see um, if you have a look here let's just take that template um i've used vellum here so i've used printed vellum i've just used some ivory card um and i've made these little circle frames um and put a little stamp on there this is from um, field notes from tim holtz and this one as well also with a field of um, and both of these i've just put printed vellum in them from the kit one of the pages and then I've used tabs. Now these tabs I've made, but there are tabs that come in the kit that you can use. So they look like that. So you can use those, they're perfect. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I did one of these quickly. Um, but why I'm saying that is I'm gonna cut the top of the envelope. I just wanted to make sure that the tab wasn't gonna get stuck onto that one. So that's what I'm looking at here. And I don't want it to, right, so that would be where I wanted those ones. So let's stick those in place um, in a sec. But what we're going to do first is you need to just slip the top there so that you've got um, an opening so that your little card can slide in. So we're just going to take off a little sliver there, sliver little sliver off you go all right so you've got that open so what we'll need to do is we will need to just glue this ever so slightly okay now we can just position these where we want them so we said about there and then um, I'm gonna just turn that over like that and put some glue on there just to hold it in place as I said you're not going to see that flap because it's on the underside so you wouldn't see it okay so there's the one and then the top one um, we don't want it to be too far down. So I think that one is fine there. Okay. So we will be coming to glue all over this in a minute. So we've got those in place now. So that's ready to go and be stuck down just like that. And we want to butt it up against that edge as I mentioned to you earlier. And then that's going to open. And that's going to open like that. So I'm going to just um, put some glue on here quickly. Okay, so we've got that and we're going to slide that in there. And we are going to slide that one in there okay awesome right so we've got that all in in place so let me just show you how i made those ever so quickly so i will just put that over there for a minute okay so what i did was i cut out um, two uh, frames they were seven and a half so three inches by three inches seven and a half by seven and a half centimeters um, these are and then I've taken a die 
a circle die you can use any shape you have at all even a heart if you want um, and I have just put these through my little uh, big shot on top of each other if you've got a, a punch with a big shape that you can use use that um, so or as I've said to you before you could take something like um, the lid Put that around and draw around that and cut that out if you don't have anything so just make sure that they match up properly so that's what I've done um, and then just put that like that and then what I did was I took my printed vellum um, and I sort of positioned it where I really wanted the image to uh, which part of the image I wanted to show so I think it's pretty much like that okay and then what you want to do is just make a bit of a mark um, around the bits you're happy to cut off so it doesn't have to be straight because you're not going to see it sorry um, but you do want to just get rid of the excess so i'm just making a rough line like that i think that side was needs to come off a bit Okay, so we've got that cut off there and then it's really easy you just um, put some glue around the areas I'm not going right to the edge here um, place the vellum where you want it so that's pretty much how I wanted it just like that okay and then grab hold of one of your little um, tabs so let's have this one here okay so just put some glue in the middle here just to keep it closed there we go um, just going to put some of that on there that was a bit dark for me and then I'm going to just um, run some glue just to keep it in place so as far as I'm concerned this looks like the middle pretty much so I don't want it to stick through um, onto my little image so we've got that and now this bit um, is going to go on top so make, if you're not going to sew this, make sure you glue to the edges, as I always tell you. And then you're just going to lay this on top. It's as simple as that. Yeah. And then just line that up. Best that you can. Okay. Um, I'm not going to do it, but um, what you could do, and you can see now if I put that below how pretty that is just so subtle and then what I did was um, you can just distress it a bit on the edges lightly um, this is now not together because I haven't so glued to the edges so you can go and just stitch around this so just giving a bit of a worn look dirty look all right, and then I just went and stuck. Um, let's just go and get one of my little stamps quickly. So as I said to you, this was the stamp is anonymous um, uh, field notes collection, and I just love this collection. Um, and then it's just a case of getting one of these little stamps and putting on some good ink. And then you could use one of Tracy Fox's labels as well. You know, you don't have to if you don't have these. She's also got those little labels. They would look perfect on there. Um, so, okay, so we're back to this now. We want to get finished here. So we've got that bit there. We've got that bit there. Um, now you've got your little pockets over here. We're going to just fill this up and then... We'll be almost done, so let's do that. Right, so as far as the ephemera goes, um, I have got two cards here that I'm going to just put 
and these come from the um, ephemera bit of the the kits of the amongst wildflowers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just put these two cards in here and i'm not putting anything on them because i want this to lie flat so no tags or anything tabs they're going to stick out on their own just a bit so um this one's a bit long let's just check if i put that in there yeah it's a bit long so i'm going to just change it for a different one we'll use this one instead so that one will work we'll put that there so those are fine don't want it to go past that point so you've got your two in there um over here um i have got i may took a whole lot of envelopes and folded them from the kit so these are from the wildflower the botanical wildflower and amongst wildflowers so i've got this beautiful one and i've printed it with a watercolor on the inside so you've got that isn't that beautiful so i thought well we'll have that one at the bottom so we'll stick that one in there like that and um, then i've got this beautiful one which was amongst the wild flowers also put in the watercolor lining like it's a lined envelope really pretty so we're going to stick that one on the top here like that okay then we've got um this little baby one really beautiful with some pinks so we'll put that I don't think it can go that way it'll have to go this way we'll put that in over here and then I have these two like little coin envelopes that were also in there I've also printed the watercolor thing so we are going to put those let's do it this way and look at the little back here those little flowers aren't they cute so we've got those little beauties that are going to go in here as well let's just whip this out put that like that okay and got a whole lot in here probably too much who knows right so we've got that and then we've got this little baby one as well with that beautiful picture in there as well okay in fact i think this is too much i'm going to just put that over there um and then i've got a couple of cards that i've printed out so the ephemera from the kit just really pretty beautiful look at those thistles and then what i've done here is i've taken another one of these pages um, like this two to a page and they make great good journal cards because i've stuck a piece of card and a recycled packaging in between folded that page in half you've got the writing side on the back it's all done for you i've used one of the tabs provided in the kit and i've just made it really robust and stuck it down which i thought was really pretty so you see what you can do when you're recycling your digis or recycling resizing sorry okay so that's all going to slide into that little pocket over there like that okay we don't want it to go too close there okay what i didn't remember to do now let's just stick these a bit further down is to make sure that we've got let's just take this out quickly um the fold line here I didn't run the bone folder over there so I just want to do that ever so quickly okay and I think it's this here let's hope <laughs> all right okay yes that's right there's the stitch line okay just make that come over like that now that I've got that in there I can see if this one's gonna go in nicely and it is but I think I'm just gonna put it around this way okay so we've got all that in there and now all that I want to do with this little bit over here 
I um, cut out a pile of the stamps that you get with, um, I got these stamps a while ago. These are all beautiful thistle ones. Just beautiful. Look at that. Stunning. And I just, because we've got all these envelopes here, I wanted to have a pile of stamps to go with them as well. So I'm not going to put them all in. Oh, look at that. Um, just beautiful colors absolutely gorgeous so we're just going to have some of those in there i think that's enough okay so there we have it we've got all our little cards and journal cards in here we've got stamps in that over here with a little envelope i've just stuck over there quite a few little envelopes in here we've got our little cards and our other little journal cards that are um, stuck in here so we've got quite a lot going on all right so what we've got to do now is we're going to fold that bit over and we're going to fold that bit over and we're going to fold that bit down like that okay and i think i've got a few white bits sticking out so i just want to run that over there like that so now what i want to do is i want to just put um some string on here so i'm gonna just grab this twine this linen thread remember i said to you you can always get linen thread from um a cream version from um carol from oakhouse journals i'm gonna just tie it so i just want to make it even first around this bottom button like that and then we're going to fold it together like that and just line that up properly and there we can keep it closed how's that hmm pretty and what i did have um was this i thought we could Put that on there i think maybe that side because i quite like that side if you quite fancied it we could stick that down so let's do that um so we've got a lovely little wallet here i'm calling it like a little wallet a ephemera wallet but such a lovely gift for somebody um you know and it's so pretty just like that how gorgeous is that now um, if I was going to send this off as a gift to somebody um, I would want to make it a bit more pretty so I've got this beautiful ribbon that I would use to just to make it a little more pretty just to send it off I mean you could keep it like that as well but how gorgeous would that be if you just had to send that to somebody as a gift with a beautiful ribbon and i've just done it a bit uneven as you do i'm never great at doing bows on camera i think that's better now just love this this ribbon comes from plum boutique and i probably made it a bit too long but you get the gist of it yeah how gorgeous is that as a gift for somebody i think that's so pretty yeah um the other thing you could do um and i'm going to take the bow off again is if you uh, didn't want to give it as a gift or you want to make this as part of a, a journal you could attach this in the center but you'd have to trim down your envelope to fit it's a bit wide um, and then you could sew it into your signature right there so it opens up like that and it's sewn in over there and then you could um, close it up just with this string uh, or twine linen thread whatever you call it and that that could possibly work as well all right so that's our little project for today i hope you've enjoyed it it was a bit long-winded but i'm going to make sure i edit it and make it shorter 
so um, thank you for bearing with me if you're still with me well done <laughs> and let me know what you think I think you could roll these off for Christmas or send this as a happy mail or give it to somebody as a gift and they'd absolutely love it you could use so many different kits doing this yeah I, I really love it I think it's like a perfect um, little gift for somebody how pretty is that all right, so thank you, everybody. I really appreciate you sticking with me um, for this project. Um, I quite enjoyed doing it in the end, and, and I was humming and hawing earlier and on, but I quite like how it turned out. So thank you so much. It's been a lot of fun. Give it a go, and I'll see you all very soon. Just want to thank you for all the wonderful comments, the wonderful and amazing support I get from each one of you. And, of course, for my new subscribers and my existing ones, Thank you so much for choosing to subscribe to my channel. I value your support and and just having you part of my little group is amazing. So thank you all so very much for that too. I'll see you again really soon. Bye bye everyone.